In this session, I'm going to introduce you to more formula functions. But before we get started on that, I wanted to let you know that Excel is capable of very many kinds of functions. Some of them are extremely advanced. Uh, my job here is not necessarily to teach you how to do the advanced functions. My job is to give you a basic of how Excel works. Um, and I, I would highly recommend that if you're using this for business or um, for a course, that um, you consult with your professor or instructor regarding um, how they would like you to use this program. I want to teach you how to do things and how to use the program, but not necessarily uh, a lot of the more advanced functions. Um, that being said, um, let's continue on to, to formulas. In the last um, in the last session we talked about how you would like actually insert a formula manually into a cell. For example, once you hit the equal sign and uh, typed in the function that you wanted, you would be able to um, enter the specific cells that you're hoping to apply the formula to. Um, now that we've kind of touched on that, one thing I want to show you is how to apply a formula to more than one cell at a, or more than one column at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fill in some information in column A. So right now I'm focused in cell A1. So I'm going to type number one. Edit. One. Edit. One. Oops, I want to put two in that one, second two, cell. Whoops. Sheet, Three, sheet one, four, edit, five, edit, six, sheet one, seven, sheet one table, All right. A8. Now I'm in A8. Now what I want to do is I want to have the sum of all the cells in column A thus far. So I'm going to enter a specific formula. So now I'm going to do the equals. Edit. Equals. S. U. M. Open parentheses. Left arrow. A1. A1. Colon. Through. A. a. What did I say? Seven. That seven. sounds right. I'm closing parentheses. Right parent. Okay. Equals sum enter. one colon a seven. Sheet so one table A. Now I'm going to go up here. 28 as formula A8. Now it's telling me that uh, the number that's entered in the cell is 28. It has a formula because obviously I just entered it. Now suppose this was a table that I was creating and I want to apply this formula to other cells. Um, when I copy it, which um, for those of you who are not aware, you can do a control C to copy. Come on. There we go. So I've copied it. And so then what I'm going to do is if, suppose I want to apply that formula to the next column over. The only difference is I would want the formula to apply to the cells in B1 through B7. So I'm going to go over to B here, to B8 here, and I'm going to paste that formula right here. Zero as formula B8. Okay. As you'll notice, it says zero to me. Um, and that is the number that's entered in this cell because there are there is no information in cells B1 through B7. What if I went up to the top and entered some, some information? So 28 just, has formula A8. Whoops. C, 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 one of B1. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit of a, an awkward way to do it. I really could have done something better for that. But that's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enter. Oh, let's start. Let's start where we left off. So eight, edit, eight, edit, eight, 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 nine, not sheet one, eight, ten, zero, sheet one, eight, 11, and 12, two, sheet, 13, edit, one, sheet one, 14, four, okay. sheet one, table, seventy-seven has formula B eight. So you'll notice that now I'm in B eight. It says has formula, and you hear that the number is different than A eight. That's because when when I pasted the formula, it caused it to apply to the cells B1 through B7 rather than A1 through A7. Okay, well now that we've learned how to copy and paste a formula from one cell to another, let's look at how to do it across multiple columns. So um, now I'm, I'm focused yet in uh, B8, and suppose I want um, 
all that that formula to go across this column and be applied to columns C, D, E, F, and G. So if I want that to happen, what I need to do is I want to recopy the formula. So I'm just going to do a control C again, just to make sure I have it. And then I'm going to hold down my shift key, which is the select um, key for uh, Windows. And I'm going to just select across with my right arrow. So if you'll listen, the screen reader will repeat as I am selecting um, and tell me what cells or what uh, columns across I'm going and what cells will be selected. So just listen careful. I'm just going to press it and let it finish each time. You obviously don't have to, but I want you to hear what it says. So I'm going to hold on my shift right arrow. B877 through C8 selected row 8 column 2. B877 through D8 selected row 8 column 2. B877 through E8 selected row 8 column 2. B877 through F8 selected row 8 column 2. B877 through G8 selected row 8 column 2. Okay. So if you'll, um, we're looking at row 8. It's telling me row 8 is, is where my selection is, is being, uh, my, is, uh, is being done, where my selection is. So now, suppose I just want to copy or paste the formula in. I'm just going to do a paste command, just a control V to paste. B877 through G80 selected row 8, column 2. Okay, and it's just going to repeat the selection. To exit the, <clears throat> excuse me, to exit the selection, I can either press enter or right arrow, anything to get out of that particular cell. I'm actually, actually going to just... 0 has formula C8. C not 0 has formula C8. So I'm in C8 right now, and it has a formula. Now if I want to... 28 has formula A8. I'm going to actually go to the top one here. One. I'm going to go to the very top of the file. I'm going to C1. go to C1. So now I'm in C1, so I want to see if this formula works. So I'm just going to continue typing. Um, num lock on. Yeah, my lumber, number lock wasn't on before, so I'm just going to keep going. At 5. Sheet 1, take 6. What's that? Sheet 1, at 8. 9. Sheet at 0, 2. Two, sheet one, table, okay. one. So now, sheet one table, 186 has formula C8. Now I'm just going to assume that Excel did its addition correctly because I'm not going to check it. <laughs> I'm not going to check the work. So as you can see, it's applying to this same formula. The formula in this cell is only applying to the cells that are in this column. So the formula will read equals sum, open parenthesis, C1, um, colon, C7, close parenthesis. So that's what will happen. And, and obviously, as you fill in columns D, E, F, and uh, G, you will receive the same results. So that is adding to multiple, multiple columns.